Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Oogle, and today I will be showing you how to um, make a platformer with GameMaker 8.0 Pro. So, I'm just gonna rush through some things because I've explained this in previous tutorials. But if you don't know what I'm doing, then just go back to one of the other tutorials. But it's fairly easy, so you could just follow along. Okay, since this is the ground, you want to make sure it's solid, by the way. Okay, now we're going to start programming the character. <clears throat> so, basically want, we want this character to fall at um, increasing speeds until he collisions with the ground. And we also want him to be able to move around and jump. So the first thing that we want to do is add in, in an event. We want that to be a step event. And go down to control and drag some code over here. And I'll just tap this in and I'll explain it then. Okay, so in the step event, like I've said before, it's like a loop. So basically what this does is it constantly checks to see if the place is free uh, one pixel under the character. And if it is, then it executes this code. Uh, gravity equals 0 0.5, so that sets the gravity up, and you want that to be a fairly low number. But you can experiment to see what you like. And gravity direction equals 270. So that's going to set which way he is falling, and in this case it's going to be straight down. Else, if place is not free, then gravity is set to zero, and uh, gravity direction is still set to 27. So that will allow the character to stop falling. So click the check mark on that, and go into add a new event and collision with object ground. Add in more code, and uh, I'll go over, the, I'll do it this the same way. Okay, <clears throat> so this checks if the speed is greater than zero and place is not free. By the way, I don't think I went over this, so when you have a command like this, like uh, place free, if you add an exclamation mark in front of it, then that is the opposite. Like if you just put in if place free, then that checks if the place is free, but if you put an exclamation mark, then the then GameMaker kind of sees it as if uh, if place is not free. So when you don't want to check if it's free, you wanted to check if it's not free, then just put an exclamation mark like that. And we are checking the Y by plus V speed. Okay, and if the, all that is uh, true, then move contact to 70. That just allows the character to stop, you know, and uh, not get stuck on the ground. So. And after that, we want to set V speed to zero. Okay. Also, you want to make sure this is not in the curly braces up here. And click check mark. And we already have the gravity, so let's go on ahead and add in movement and jumping. So keyboard right. <laughs> So this 
what this does is it I might have explained this in a previous tutorial but if the place is free uh, to the right of the character then he can move but normally I've been saying to set up a variable called something like M speed and use that that's really only if you want if you think you might be changing the speed of the character later it just makes it easier so you won't have to go into every event that you've used a number like this and change it to your variable so but this tutorial I'm just gonna be using four I already know what I want so if this was say seven you would want to change this four up here to seven also mm -hmm. so just remember that whatever speed you want him to be then you gotta set this up here to the same thing now let's just duplicate that with a keyboard left. Now this is going to be the same thing, just change all the pluses to minuses. And that will allow him to move left. Now add in an event, key press up, and we'll set in the jumping. Okay, so this checks if place is free, if place is not mm -hmm. free, uh, 12 pixels below the character, then phi speed equals minus equals 10. So that'll allow him to move up. If you didn't add in a minus, then he would try, probably try moving down. So be sure to add in a minus. And this can be pretty much anything. I think I used to use 12, but I've started using 10 now, but you can experiment. It's just basically like the gravity. You can experiment with it, see what you like. Maybe the game isn't supposed to have much gravity because it's on a different planet or something like that, you know. So just experiment. And click the check mark. Okay, now click OK. And add a room. I'm going to set the grid to 32 by 32 to make this easy. And as I've said in a previous tutorial, mm -hmm. I'm creating a line of objects like this by holding shift and the mouse button and just dragging the mouse. Okay. And we have our level, so just add in the character there. And click the check mark. Now you can test your game. Now, as you can see, you can uh, move around and jump, and he'll just fall. Okay. So, you've basically got your platform, the basics of it, set up already, you know. So, you can just create your level now. The only thing is, is you don't actually have very much, because on a good platforming game, you would also want obstacles like that could kill you and uh, enemies and everything like that but it's gonna take a little bit to do that since I've never really went over anything like that before so that's gonna be in another tutorial which should be up very soon so right now what we want to do is be sure to go up here and save the game save it as anything you want I'm gonna use tutorial and we'll be sure to save that because we'll be picking this back up in another tutorial so, hope you've uh, learned what you wanted to know uh, mm -hmm. for this, the beginning of a platformer, mm -hmm. and see you next time.